Hola chicos! I'm here at the Canary Islands and today we're gonna improve our sense of tempo by doing what I used to do and still do for having a strong rhythmic feeling that is using the hands. <laughs> We're gonna practice over 10 songs, each one has one certain level of difficulty. So let me take you all around these fabulous places and let me help you how to master the tempo with some of the greatest songs ever written with my exercises. This video is for singers and for musicians, so disfrutalo. After 20 years of career, for me, when a singer is not really effective with his performance, it's not because of his intonation, it's not because he ain't got a good voice, but mostly it's because of his sense of timing, the way he sings and plays on the tempo. So we say he's got the groove or he ain't got the groove. Now this depends on how comfortable he or she is with the tempo. And I can tell you the most of the singers and musicians that I know, they seem to have a sense of timing. But when you cut off the instrumental part and they remain all by themselves, and I tell them to clap their hands, basically, that's what they do. First, they start messing up with the second and the fourth bit. Second, they start slowing down the tempo or rushing. So what you need to acquire is, first, a sort of relaxation, so that you don't have to think about when you must clap the hands, but eventually, you'll do it naturally. Two, getting one in Italy we call tiro. Tirare means pulling in Italian, and that means you don't have to slow down the tempo and make all the musicians in the band pissed off, but you have to kind of pulling the tempo. Like when you walk with some friends and there is somebody slower than the others, and that one tends to slow down everybody else. You have to pull them. That is what you need to sing and play with Tiro and make your audience want to move and dance. So, are you ready? Vamos. All right, first song, it's a classic one. It's Billie Jean by Michael Jackson. This song is perfect for you for practicing with your second and your fourth clapping. So the exercise goes like this. You're gonna start singing and clapping with the hands with the song, then I cut off the song and you go on with the click. Then I cut off the click and you're all by yourself. Try to keep the same speed of the song. Then I'll play back the song again and we will see if you've kept the same speed. You ready? Vamos! Music on! Click on! Verse Clap your hands. She said, I am the one who will dance or blow around. Music off. Keep singing. Click off. Keep on singing. Music on. Music off. Music on. Music off. Good! Now, the second song is probably one of the most famous songs of one of the greatest rock band ever existed, The Queen. 
And the song is, We Will Rock You. The difficult thing about We Will Rock You is that it's a medium slow song. And when it's about medium slow songs, a lot of singers have the tendency to rush. So here's the trick. The slower the song, the faster the tempo. Meaning, instead of thinking in octaves, we will, we will rock you. You think in 16, we will, we will rock you. So you divide the bar in 16 parts instead of eight parts. So it's gonna be harder to rush. So try and see if I'm right. And if I'm wrong, hazlo una otra vez, until you get it. Like Billie Jean, you will start clapping and singing with the song, then without the song, only with a click, and then without the click, all by yourself. And eventually, see when the song will come back, if you have rushed, or you have slowed down, or you're perfect on time. Ready? Vámonos. Music on. Verse. Buddy, you're a boy, make a big noise, playing in the street, gonna be a big man someday. You got mud on your face. Thanks, double. You big disgrace, kicking your can all over the place. Go. Singing, we will, we will rock you. Go. We will, we will rock you. Music off. Click off. Music on. Buddy, you're an old man, poor man, pleading with your eyes, gonna make you some peace. Some Ready for the chorus? On your face. Big disgrace, somebody better put your back to your off. face. Don't rush. Music on. We will, we will rock you. Sing louder. We will, we will rock you. The third and the fourth songs, they have a different tempo. A very common tempo if you want cool stuff. That's 12-8. It's not really hard. It's just that you don't have to think in fourth. You have to think in 12. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So eventually, this will give you the sense of rhythm. And maybe you will do something like... First one is another Queen song. Somebody to love. Are you ready? Vamos. Music on. It's a 12 8. Go. Each morning I get up a dial. Can't really stand on my feet. It's a new tempo. It's a new feeling. Music off. Click off. Don't rush. Music on. Clap your hands. I work. He works hard. Every day of my life. I work till I make my bones. Music off. Click off. Keep the tempo. Music on. Somebody, somebody, Ooh, somebody, somebody, find me. Sing louder. Somebody to love. 
Next one is going to be one of the most famous 12-8 songs, Isn't She Lovely? It's a great song by Stevie Wonder. When you listen to the song, try to pay attention to the piano part because that's how the song started and that's where the groove is. Are you ready? Vámonos! Music on! Verse Clap your hands. Music off. Keep singing. Click off. Keep the tempo. Music on. Have fun. So, now that you're cool with the 4-4th and the 12-8, it's time to step into the real stuff and get to another level. Here's the next song for you. Now, seven days is in 5 4 That means that you have to count five for each bar. That may be slightly odd at the beginning, but once you get used to it, it's gonna be fun. Much more fun than the usual 4 4 Just try not to slow down when the song will be cut off. Trick, if you listen to the drummer, you will notice that Vinicola Yuta divides the bar three plus two. That means that you have to count one, two, three, one, two, instead of one, two, three, four, five. So the snare drum is gonna be on the first bit of the second part of the bar. So it's one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, two, Got it? Good, vamos. On. It's a five four. Seven days was all she wrote. Kind of ultimatum note. She gave to me. Don't listen to the singer's voice. She gave to me. Listen to the rhythmic section. When I thought the field had cleared, it seems another suit of people. Clap your hands. To challenge me. Oh, it's me. Music off. Click off. Keep the tempo. Music on. I hear you. Music off. Music on. Ask if I am mouse or man. The mirror squeaked away I ran. He'll murder me. Feel the BPM in your body. In time for his tea. Does it bother me at all? My rival is me and Music all. off. Keep the tempo.
Music on. Music off. Music on. Music on. The next song is pretty similar to Seven Days. It only has a different feeling. Even here, the tempo is 5 4, 3 plus 2. The difficult part is there is no snare drum at the beginning. So you have to listen to the bass line. Then the snare drum enters, and then here you clap on the three. As they say, try not to get worried. Entonces, vamos. Music on. Don't be fooled by the new feel. Try not to get worried. Try not to turn on to problems that upset you. Clap your hands. Don't you know everything's alright? Yes, everything's fine. And we want you to sleep well tonight. Let the world turn without you tonight. Relax your body. If we try, we'll get by. So forget all about it. Music off. Click off. Music on. Music off. Don't rush. Music on. Keep the tempo. Singing. Don't you know everything's alright? Yes, everything's alright. Yes, surely you're not saying we have the resources to save the poor from their lives. Music off. Music on. While you still have me move, while you still see me. You'll be lost Keep on singing you'll be sorry when I'm done. A for our next video Now, we're really playing serious here The next song is a song by the Pink Floyd It's called Money And it's in 7th fourth. That means that for the sake of having fun, we're gonna divide the song in three plus two plus two. Now, the tricky thing here is that Nick Mason, the drummer, plays the crash on the seventh beat. And that makes you think it's the first beat of the new bar, but it's not. And as a matter of fact, he plays another crash on the first beat of the new bar. So what about the snare drum? Snare is on the second, fourth, and sixth beat. And that gives a sense of normality because it's fair. But as a matter of fact, it's a complicated rhythm. ¿Están listos para pasarlo bien? ¡Vamos! Music on. Click on. Ready for the verse? 
verse. It's a seventh fourth. Music off. Don't rush. Music on. Music off. Click off. Music on. Music off. Music on. Listen to the snare drum. As we're getting close to the end of this video, let's spice up things a little more. Here's the next song for you. Here's the song in 9-8. It's a country western song written by Sting, again, my favorite, called I Hung My Head. So I said it's a country western song, but with the Sting style. The story behind this song is that he tried to write a song that reminded him of Bonanza, a country western American TV series of the 60s. By that time, he probably wanted to be a cowboy. But the problem was with authenticity. Sting comes from Newcastle and he didn't look good and authentic with a country hat on. But when the late great Johnny Cash made a cover of his song, then Sting felt completely satisfied about his job. The snare drum here is on the third and the eighth beat. The cool thing about this rhythm is that if you keep the down beat, all of a sudden it becomes the up beat. Have fun! Music on. It's a nine eighth. Go. Early one morning, with time to kill, I borrowed Jim's rifle and sat on the hill. Clap your hands. I saw. Off. Don't be scared to let the tension go. Click off. Music on. I kept on running into the soft lands. And that's where they found me. My head and my hands. Music off. Music on. Vale, next song is called Silent Sea by KT Tunstall. This time I let you figure out how to divide the beats in the verse and how to divide the beats in the chorus. Clap where I clap. Vamos. Music on. Snap your fingers. Ooh, 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 ooh. We 
relax your mind. I was happy in my heart, but when you cut me loose, clap your hands. Floating on an ocean in confusion. Music off. Music on. Get rid of the body tensions and move with the flow. Music off. Music on. Music off. Music on. Happy in my harbor when you cut me loose. Music off. Music on. Entonces, let's finish the video here in Tenerife with one of the Beatles' classic songs and one of my favorite soundtracks of all time, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. This is the only song in the video that changes the speed of the tempo and the feeling of it in the same song. So we have a waltz in 3 4 for the verse and a classic 4 4 for the chorus. So follow me and clap where I clap. Here we go for the last one. Music on. Music off. Music on. Music off. Music on. Music off. Music on. Music off. Music on. Music on. Music off. Music on. This is it. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the Wissing Studio channel, and give us a comment and let us know 
What you think? Hasta luego.